Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to this new video uh, on Bone. Why not to cover it? It's, uh, it's, it's relatively bullish right now. I know quite a lot of you are still trading and holding it, etc. Uh, so just wanted to give you my thoughts on it this morning after we got a little bit of a breakout. I mean, you can see, look, if you look at Bone and, and we're getting right into the, uh, in, into the analysis, but if you look at Bone, there's two main resistance levels we have to break through. Uh, one is right here around 1.25 and a little bit lower at 1.22 cents. And then you have a minor one, even though it is the, the, the 0 0.382 FIB of this move down um, around 1.15 cents. So that's 0 0.0155. Um, and we broke above that. And at the same point of time, you can see that Bitcoin is relatively strong, or at least it got some bullish breakouts, which I would say is relatively strong after the last couple of days. Uh, and most importantly, Bohm is actually gaining momentum here, all right? And this is pretty strong. Now, the spot buying is not convincing and the, the normal CVD also isn't, but um, I've, I've analyzed Bohm for quite some time now. And, uh, and usually those are not really to be trusted, while I think the open interest is a little bit more trustable or trustworthy. Um, so that's increasing while we are getting bullish breakouts. So I think it's most likely that we will at least not something like that. Uh, but I do think we will stay at least I, I do think we will stay bullish at least for now. Now, ultimately, it, it surely depends on the markets. All right. So if Bitcoin crashes today, which I don't expect, but who knows? It's crypto. If something like that happens, uh, then Boom will get a bearish breakout and will drop back down towards 1.05 as well. But for now, after getting that breakout with a relatively bullish Bitcoin, and while we are also gaining momentum, I think it's most likely that we will at least test this level right here around 1.22 and 1.25 cents again. Now there we do get into a little bit of a problem. And that is, and you can also see that on the daily time frame, that's just a very strong level. All right. And um, look, if, if we're going to keep testing that level and if the price keeps bouncing against that, at some point of time, we are going to break above that. But the, the most difficult thing for me to say right now is if we have a chance to break above it on the, on, on the short term, because that is ultimately what we want to see, all right? We want to get some sort of a breakout above that level between 1.22 and 1.25 cents, because if we do, we can rally back up to the next resistance level right here around 1.4 and 1.45 cents, which is a pretty big gain. I mean, from, from, from here, in terms of percentages, that's 20%. Now, do I think that's possible? Yes. Do I think that's most likely? No. <clears throat> I think I, I think it's much more likely that we will get some sort of a similar reaction as the first time initially, so resistance. And then if we are able, but I will keep you updated on this, if we're able to hold some sort of a consolidation uh, up here, so that's relatively high, because usually we, we don't. Usually we, we, f we find some support there, uh, but then drop back down. So if we can find some sort of a consolidation there, while Bitcoin also stays relatively strong and while the momentum keeps going up for Bohm, because right now the momentum is not even as high as it was three days ago, even though it is going up, um, then we can get the breakout, all right? Then we can break above 1.25 cents and rally higher. So do I think it's possible? For sure. Do I think it's most likely that we, we, we are just going to push through right now and get a, again a huge bull run? No. I think, I think it's unlikely. I think it's a possibility, um, but I think it's unlikely. I think this on the short term is what I expect because we are gaining momentum and we have already confirmed a bullish breakout. Um, it's just that I, I don't see enough momentum to, to get the big bullish breakout. But I will keep you updated on that. Like I said, for now, I think that's what you need to know. Like I said, keep your eyes on Bitcoin as well because that is relevant. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.